we're here at the Pendergrass Flea Market, also known as La Vaquita, here in Pendergrass, Georgia. It's about an hour's drive from Atlanta and about an hour's drive from South Carolina as well. We're just here to check out what the market has to offer. We're going to try to see if they have any pop figures, maybe see if they have any Disney things. So why don't you come along with us and check it out. Did you see this Shuri one? This one, oh, this one's 25. This blue? Oh, yeah. They have Legos. Noah's favorite thing, Lego. Yeah, the minifigures, one for one dollar for three. I mean, one for three dollars and five for ten bucks. One for three dollars and five for ten? Yeah. This is Victory Music. They repair guitars, speakers, mics, keyboards. They have all this beautiful instruments. Beautiful, right? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of musical instruments. They even have a pet shop here. Yeah, I can hear them. You want to see the birds? Don't put your fingers there. Look, Eleanor, look, they have bunnies. Come, come. Parakeets. Coco has birds like these. Oh, look at how tiny that. That is such a cute bunny. It's so adorable. Sixty dollars. Why is it so cute? What kind of bunny is that? Can I get a bunny? Oh no. Aww, poor babies. I like seeing them like that in cage. Oh, there's too many of them in there. No. They got dog grooming. Puppy shots and deworming. So, we've been here for quite a while. Two hours. And we've seen a lot of stuff. They have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, they have a, a lot. They have repeat stuff, though. Every so often yeah. you see the same things yes. at different locations. You know, people selling the same stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of Western stuff. There's a lot of boots, cowboys hats, there's a lot of jewelry, there's a lot of toys. There's a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, emulated video game systems. Oh yeah. Which is, you know, pretty neat if you're looking for uh, old Nintendo and Super Nintendo games. Um, they have the little miniature emulated emulators, which is pretty nice. Yeah. I was playing Castlevania, the original before. Oh yeah. So now we're trying to find the food court and it is really hard to find stuff in here because it's so massive. There's over 500 plus booths and it's starting to get crowded, but um, we did get a little layout map, but it doesn't really tell you where things are. It just tells you so. where the major things are, like the food court, but then trying to find where you are is quite difficult. Yeah. So, Every, go ahead. All the, all the walkways are like labeled for the most part, you have to look for the... They're street like street names. names. So like 8th Street. So this is like Main Street where we're at right now. Right, yeah, this is Main Street, but it's a little difficult to navigate through, so. Yeah. But it, it is huge. You could easily get lost. If, if I didn't accidentally run into uh, where we came in just now, I would probably have a hard time trying to get back there and find it. Well, we finally found the food court. And it's huge, and it's busy. And they have a Papa John's, so lucky us. This place is massive. There's the food court. Yeah, they got a lot of uh, Mexican uh, food. They do have some burgers and fries and stuff too, wings. So you can see here, they got a lot of uh, 
decided to go Mexican food over there to the, ta to the taquisa and get some carne asada. So we decided to get the kids pizza at the food court. The pizza was $4 per slice. It's from Papa John's. And the total to get the five kids each a slice of pizza and four sodas was $25. So it is a little bit expensive, but is the pizza at least good? So Steve got us some Mexican food. Do you know which, which place you got it from? La Quisa. La Quisa? I don't know. I, feel, I can't tell. It looks like that's what it says in there. La Quisa. Okay. And what did we get here? This is our plate. Carne asada and some rice and beans. Carne asada, rice and beans, and then it comes with a tortilla. And it looks really good. It smells good. It comes with tortillas and jalapeno and peppers. Oh, this, is, this is optional. You don't have to get it, but they offer it to you if you want it. Oh, okay. But it's free. And it's probably homemade, right? I would imagine so. So try it. Is this going to be spicy? And they, they, um, these are marinated because I saw them pulling them out of the, the marinade and they throw them in the fryer. Oh, okay. Want to try? You sure? There's plenty. What do you think? You can also get this with shrimp on top of it. Oh, really? They put shrimp and then they put a sauce on it. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. I want to try it with the tortilla. All right, I'm going to try this food. If I can. Mmm. <laughs> is it spicy? No, it's very flavorful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. really good. Decided to get bubble tea since I can only really get it. Well, I guess I can get it anywhere. Right? Um. Yeah, well, we don't really go places to have that, have bubble tea. I know, it's just that there's a bubble tea place right up the street from our house, but I will still only ever get it in Disney. Abby goes to the chest to the pizza. This is my bubble tea. I got the taro tea. I'm gonna see how it tastes. Here. They, put, they make all of the teas at the same time, and they put them in, have a machine that puts this. Yeah, they had a little on. machine yeah, to cool. put the label on. Yeah. Olivia's gonna Freshly give it the made. first taste. Ooh, I like those balls that are on the inside. Ooh, is it good? I like it. Mmm, that's good. Look at those dirt bikes. <laughs> and ATVs. A little, little mini one. That's so cute. Spider-Man! We got a game, the game area here. Oh yeah, the there's area. carnival games. The Unikitty one was higher than that. Yeah, they have some carnival games. Carnival rides. Whole carnival in here. We have a fun pass for 30 bucks. You got a fun pass which is one bungee, one jumping cars. One train, one Ferris fantasy. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Well, the Ferris okay. back there. Big Daddy. And uh, jumping houses, so it's like the bounce houses all the way in the back. And then for the extreme pass, forty dollars, unlimited rides for one hour. Uh, jumpy houses. And that's it. You get that. You get unlimited rides and, and the jumpy house for, for forty bucks. Hey, hey, that's per person. They have all these plants outside. So on top of everything that they have inside, they also have apple trees and just a ton of plants. I saw like a lot of evergreen plants out here, shrubs and things like that. Lots of different types of apple trees. Oh, okay, so that is going to be it for the flea market. We're on our way home. 
it was definitely a very large place to visit. It's a lot to see. There are a lot of duplicate um, booths there, so there were supposed to be 500 plus booths. I would say that you're going to get a lot of duplicates. There, there were a lot of Western booths and a lot of booths with um, charging cables and phone accessories and things like that, toys, a lot of the same things. Uh, it's not really the type of place where you're going to go and people are going to be selling their old items. Um, you're not going to find any antiques or anything like that. Uh, there was just one booth that a guy had his old stuff to sell, which he had a record player and some other things, but they did have a lot of, a lot of stuff. It was a whole day's worth of looking around indoors, outdoors. We didn't even see the pony rides, but they, I know that they do have them. We didn't even go everywhere in, inside. There was a whole section that we didn't go see. Yeah, there was oh, just so much to see. We've been there for five hours almost. We were there for five hours, just about that amount of time. So overall, it was a it was worth the trip up to the um, La Vaquita Flea Market. It was previously known as the Pendergrass Flea Market. And so this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I have a lot of things coming up. This is an in-between video. We're doing some things in between our Disney visits, which are coming up very soon. Uh, but for now, we're gonna be doing some Georgia things and we have some other things planned for this month. So definitely hit the subscribe button. And thank you for being part of my Disney Driven World and I'll see you next time.